Hello friend, welcome back. Before studying our app post, I noticed one thing that I really want to share with you. Like when you are in the dashboard and here there is our link and in particular that position if you click on this area then automatically one of the drop down will be loaded on particular that position. And here I just assign that logout. But when you go to your permission list page like that is our permission list page and if you click on here now you can see here our drop down menu is not loading on particular that position but if you go to the create page in our create page is loaded successfully okay so all that uh, all that our list page like that is a rule list if you go to the rule list here you can see that is actually not working and if you click on the create then it's perfectly working on here and also if you click on the edit so in our edit page, if you click on here, it's also work on particular that position. So only all that our list page is not working. Like if you go to the author list page, now you can see it's not working. And if you go to the categories and if you click on here, it's not working. So I noticed that thing. So I want to share with you why actually that things happen and how you can actually solve this issue. So it's pretty much easy things. Like if you go to the category right now, there is our category listing page. So now I want to go to our category. Uh, like there is an admin there is a category so there is your category list blade and into the category list blade if you go to the down and here one of the js file that is actually the popper mean.js so for that file actually uh, it's creating that problem so if, if you want to solve it then you have to do you have to cut that things from here and i that is all the js file so all the js file i added in our admin layout so if you go to the layout and here in the bottom.js okay so here i just want to actually add that on particular that position it's already actually on here there is a pop art mean.js okay so that is actually the direct all that file so right now i just want to actually save that things on particular that position so i just save it on here and now if you click on the save all so from here i just remove it and now i just refresh that page and now if you select that things on here you can see there is a logout is now perfectly working on here i hope you will understand about it so i want to do that things for the every pages like there is a permission page so here it's not working so now i want to go to our permission list page so that is our permission and there is a permission list on particular that position i already included that things in our bottom okay that means in our layout bottom blade.php so here i already included it so right now i don't need this so i just remove that things from here click on the save all and now refresh that page and now click on the go logout yeah perfect it's now working so that is a rule space so that means the rule list space so we have to go our rule list space uh, so that is our rule list and in particular that position i have to remove that js file so i just remove it now click on the save all and also i want to update that things for our category and author so in our author list page i just select and here i just remove it and now click on the save all and now if you go to the rules yeah rules is perfectly working and if you go to the author it's perfect working on our author page and also there is a category list page is perfectly now working so I just find out that issue. I just noticed that thing. So for the reasons I just shared that things with you, how can actually solve that issue? It's pretty much easy thing. So I hope it's very much clear to you. So in our next video, I will show you how can manage your all that post. Like that is all that post. How can manage your all that post uh, from your backend area? So in our next video, I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.